T-Mage here in the Minnesota State Fair with local uh, Senate candidate Kurt Bills running with the Republican Party. And uh, the reason that I know about Kurt Bills is because he has a lot of liberty-minded people uh, backing him. So I'm just going to ask him a couple questions today. And uh, why are you running for Senate, Kurt? Oh, because of uh, teaching kids for the last 15 years about the economy and they see the, the road that we're going down and that they haven't voted for any of this or voted for any of these people who've taken us off this cliff, but they're going to be the ones who are paying for it. So I want to stand up for them. Now, what is your opinion on the Federal Reserve Bank, Kurt? The, the Federal Reserve Bank is an institution that has given an incredible monopoly over our currency. And uh, not only do you need to move to audit it, but you need to move to eliminate the dual mandate system and also uh, give each uh, district Fed president a vote on the FOMC to greatly reduce its power. What do you think about the NDA or National Defense Authorization Act? Uh, Title X of the N NDAA is absolutely a, a travesty to our civil liberties. Uh, giving the executive branch the right to uh, uh, detain civilians shouldn't be in, in any uh, piece of legislation that ever goes through the Congress. So, What do you think about the federal government getting involved with the state's rights to legalize medical marijuana and also produce hemp as an industrial product? Uh, it's a state issue. They can States could decide what they want to do on those issues. I know that there's some of those bills were actually working their way through the state house. So. Now, I know Barack Obama has expanded wars to more countries than President Bush has, and as running as a Republican, which a lot of the liberty-minded people uh, got a sour taste in their mouths when you endorsed Mitt Romney for president. With the path that you are going down right now, do you have plans to curb our defense, which a lot of people in the liberty movement are blatantly referring to as purely offense? Do you have any sort of solution within the Republican Party and the endorsement of Mitt Romney that you can make a difference because you're basically in the, the, the more the main line? You know, a lot of the liberty-minded people voted for you, but they will not vote, let's say, for the two parties because they say, I'm done with them. Well, there's a lot of great questions there. First of all, um, without going down to Tampa because I want to be here meeting voters to try to have a chance to, to win this coming fall, I wanted to take that time to congratulate Mitt Romney because even Congressman Paul had said that he was going to be the nominee. I had talked to Congressman Paul on the phone about that. Everything seemed okay with him. Everything was okay with him. He actually informed me that it would be okay for me to do that um, because I wanted to let him know where, where my thoughts were. And, uh, and as the top of the ticket in this state, you have to be a leader. So I can't pick and choose the Republican candidates down ticket who I want to endorse and, and get behind and vote for. And I don't want Minnesota Republicans to pick and choose. I want them to come out and support their candidates. Um, I think if, they, if we expect the mainstream Republicans to do that for, for me, then we need to get behind Mitt Romney and support him. Uh, he'd be a heck of a lot better than Barack Obama, and I support him, and I will, I'll be voting for him on November 6th. Now, you started that with saying that you talked to Ron Paul, and then you cited uh, talking to Ron Paul as part of the backing for endorsing Mitt Romney, yet Ron Paul has only given a no. partial endorsement yeah, of no, Mitt Romney. No, Ron, so, yep, but Ron Paul, yep, Ron sorry. Paul's not the top of the ticket in any state, and I am. And you know, the Liberty crowd, including the Ron Paul supporters, helped to put me there. Okay, but as the top of the ticket, you have to lead, too. You don't get to pick and choose now. You're, you're a part of the party. We have to move from uh, where we've been in, in terms of trying to take the party back to its roots, and now we have to keep that foothold and, and go forward. So I don't, want, I don't want to slip back down to where things were in the party uh, two years ago, four years ago, six years ago. I want to keep that foothold and move up. You know, in, in terms of 2014, we have two more statewide elections in 2014. Well, what are we going to do, slip backwards and fight the fight all over again to try to beat Dayton and, uh, and Al Franken? I think, we can, I think we need to stay where we are, uh, work from the level that we've gotten to and uh, go forward, so if that makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes sense, and with Amy Klobuchar, there, are there certain are there certain policies that you're going to be able to go out and expose her for basically uh, uh, supporting big government, especially you know on the federal level, NDA, uh, the, the yeah, advancing absolutely. police state. Yeah. No, yeah, we want I guess to talk about the Patriot Act. We want to talk about NDA. She's a co-author of PIPA, right, which is a huge issue with uh, young people, 18 to 30, aged 18 to 30. We found that was the biggest hit that we had on, on our uh, social media stuff that we put out, 400,000 hits, I think, uh, was on that one piece that we put out. Um, I think we also have to run on the fact that she complained about a $300 billion deficit in six years ago, but has since voted to add $7.4 trillion of deficits since then. So you can't be appalled at $300 billion and then vote for $7.4 uh, The other thing would be she ran, uh, um, basically ran on Iraq. 
uh, complaining about Iraq, saying that we should bring the troops home, and yet look where we are today in Afghanistan. We need to we need to bring the troops home now from these places. We got Osama bin Laden, mission accomplished, come home. Uh, so even Simpson Bowles pointed out, the, the, the commission pointed out 733 military bases around the world that we know of, uh, 133 different countries with our technology that we, technology that we have today in our military. Uh, there's no reason to have that many where we're running a real Cold War uh, def, uh, defense strategy, and I think we need to look at that and, and modernize. So, Would you agree that the Federal Reserve printing money is directly responsible for being able to finance such a large military institution around the world? Yeah, last year, uh, actually, 61% uh, of our Treasury uh, bonds, notes, bills were purchased by the Federal Reserve. And if that's the case, and Mitt Romney just referred to Ben Bernanke as doing a good job. Oh, I didn't see that. He said that, Mitt, or that Ben Bernanke is doing a good job. You would just disagree? Okay. Yeah, I would disagree with him on that. I okay. would disagree with him on that, yeah. So getting in a position of... That debate, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, is, you get in a, you know, you're a newcomer, you're in the Senate... You're having lunch with Rand Paul. You have a lot of backing of people that are anti-Fed, but yet you endorse the guy who is pro-Fed. Where is the transition for a normal guy like me walking around and saying, man, I want to support you, but there's this gray area that I don't know about because I'm not in Washington. How are you going to be able to represent the constituency that's anti-Fed, anti-war, when you're saying you're that, you're going to, hopefully your actions will all prove that, but yet you've got to support head honcho that is not that. I, I, I'm failing to see how, you know, together we have to run on the things that we all agree on. I mean, I think all Americans believe, including Mitt Romney, that the free enterprise and the private sector is the way forward. All right? And then that would include money and banking as well. I, I would say that uh, Americans probably are to the point where they think that our debt's actually a moral issue, that we are literally creating generational theft. And I would have to say that we all agree that the, the bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. That's why we want a smaller government so the citizen can be bigger. So I think we're all good on those issues, and that's why I'm going to run forward as a team. And then in two years, we're going to have another great discussion, and we're going to hopefully take, take it another notch towards the liberty side. So that's, that's what I think we can do if we all just get involved and, and stay committed this coming election. So. Well, best of luck against Amy Klobuchar. I voted for you in the primaries. I'd like to stay in touch with you and, and see how it shakes out. And if you're a friend of small government and a friend of liberty and anti-NDAA and anti-Federal Reserve inflating to expand the military budget, thank you very much. We got it all. We got it all. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. It's awesome.